the fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Unpesa. So, last episode, we arrived at Thriller Bark. The new location, the new island that we're probably going to do some shit. Probably going to save some people. Probably going to return some shadows, maybe. Okay, that was the premise uh, as we learned about Brooke's backstory, okay? Not only is he an undead skeleton, apparently he had his shadow was gone, which means he can't see the light of day. So he's literally been stuck here in the Floridian Triangle for who knows how long. Decades, centuries, who knows, bro? Um, and yeah, it kind of sucks. It's very sad. He has to stay on a ship that reminds him every single day of his dead homies. That's pretty sad stuff. Okay, but we don't know him enough, right? It's not enough for me to be like, okay, drop everything. Let's let's get a shadow. Let's save his life. That's not enough for me. It, it might be for Luffy, but not for me. Okay, whenever we had Robin, I, I, was, I always constantly ask myself, is she worth it? And until we found out, like, you know, her backstory and what she did for the Straw Hats, then I was like, okay, let's go ahead and save her to the fullest. All right. I don't feel that way about Brooke. All right. So we got we got to get there. All right, we don't know enough. We know a little bit, but we don't know enough. Uh, but anyway, we're here at Thriller Bark. It's supposed to be scary, ghosty, goblin, horror type shit. And we definitely seen some weird, weird stuff. We already saw a Cerberus, a three-headed dog, or two-headed dog slash fox. <laughs> okay. Um, it looked like it was experimented on. And then they mentioned this man named... Or this person, sorry, named Dr. Hogback, who apparently Chopper knows. So I assume this episode, we're going to learn a little bit about who they are. If they are actually a mad scientist making some weird concoctions here in this island. And so on and so forth. Okay, so that's pretty much where we are. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is One Piece episode 340. All right. I feel like we're going so fast. Uh, if you guys are not a member of the channel, members get early access to these reactions. And I'm something like at least 100 episodes ahead. At least 100 episodes ahead, all right? So if you want to go ahead and become a member, you want to click that join button down below. All right? And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, which is also linked down below in the description. Otherwise, if you can't do those things, you can always like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for the algorithms, and or join the Discord if you haven't already. OP340. Let's go. What the fuck is this place? Is everything just an abomination? <laughs> what in the hell? It's definitely creepy. I'm not scared, but I'm definitely creeped out. This is a weird ass place. Everyone seems like they were worked on. <clears throat> okay. So according to Chopper, he's an amazing doctor that everyone looks up to. It's, it's, this sounds like a familiar story I've heard somewhere, but there was also an amazing doctor. I feel like it was a Black Mirror. <laughs> He was a number one doctor, but he got bored, and then he went crazy because of it. This is what happened to this guy? Huh? Was that a human face? Oh, hell no. Where the fuck are we? Bro, 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 bro. Yeah. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> Everything has like stitches and bandages on them, bro. Or definitely have entered a mad scientist island, you know. And obviously, all all signs are pointed towards this Doctor Hogback person. But then again, they could just be a puppet. It's never that simple, with One Piece. I feel like. Okay, that's definitely weird. 
This dude, this random ass dude, this back bacula dropped us off in the random ass graveyard. Like a sign that they're about to die or some shit. <laughs> That's definitely weird. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Straight up zombies, man. Digging themselves out the dirt. We really have entered the horror arc of One Piece. I, I dig it. Okay. We're actually, we actually encountered some fucking zombies. What the fuck? I did not expect this. <laughs> this is classic horror shit. <clears throat> also, you already know, whoever, who was the first person that thought the, thought of the idea of zombies were fucking maniacs. Is he okay? Is he get is, is Soap gonna turn into a zombie? He just got bit by a zombie. That's normally what happens in the zombie movies, right? Oh fuck! This is kind of terrifying. For, I'm 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 scared for them. Okay. Huh? They can talk. They can have regular conversations. I mean, everyone, I feel like everyone's fucking kind of scared of fire of that magnitude. Something's different. Something's weird about these zombies. They're not like, did they not just speak like regular ass humans? Am I missing something? And they bit us, but they didn't really bite us. I don't see any bite marks. What the fuck is happening? What? Okay, and now they're running full fledged. Okay, no, no, no. There's some. There's some weird going on here, bro. These aren't. Whoa! Did, did did I just witness a flash step? What the fuck just happened? There's something weird about these zombies. I can't. They're not. They're not actually. They look like zombies, but the bandages, the the, the dead skin, the, the the fucking bone peeking out through the through, through the flesh. But they don't act like zombies, bruh. What the fuck? Okay, I'm interested. There's some weird ass shit going on in this island, bro. <clears throat> Wait, what was that? Our ship has a library? They didn't tell us that. Dude! Nah, this ship is sick. Aquarium, library, soldier dock system. So far so good, Sonny. Okay. Uh... Zombie lady? She also has stitches. Definitely zombie lady. What's up with the voice inflection? He goes from very deep to What the fuck? <laughs> I definitely get mad scientist vibes from him. And he 100% lied about the story about Sindri because she has been worked on. <laughs> what an interesting trait to give to a character. An all-out hatred for plates. For ceramic. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Chopper's too adorable. But no, we're not we're not we're not trusting this guy, right? He's clearly the one behind all the weird ass fucking concoctions on this island. 
please don't drink the wine. Please don't eat the steak. He's going to poison us. <laughs> okay. I feel like, um, <clears throat> oh, 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 there's history, but even more so, I was going to say, I feel like a soap shouldn't open his big fucking mouth. Why would we say that to a random? He might be an enemy. Come on, bruh. Come on, man. Come on, soap. Big ass mouth. <laughs> but. There is history there. Wait, they showed us some images. Okay. Dr. Hogback. Yeah. Not only does it remind me, or does he give off mad scientist vibes, he actually looks very similar to, to uh, was it Dr. Eggman? Professor Eggman from Sonic the Hedgehog? He, he, he looks, they have the same body type. Okay. I wonder if they designed Dr. Dr. Hogback after him. He was also a mad scientist, I think. Um, okay, so... Yeah, he, he, unless it's too obvious, but he clearly seems like to be the one behind all these patched up, stitched animals and trees and this girl who clearly has been worked on. I don't think she's present. And for some reason, she hates plates like really badly. <laughs> what? <sighs> but. I already know there is a reason for all this. I just don't, I just can't put my finger on it. Okay, I already know through already watching 300 plus episodes of One Piece, there's a reason for everything. Okay, it's just weird. It's just weird. What the hell? Dr. Hogback, he's definitely a weirdo. Someone's making some weird ass experiments on this island, making trees into people. Um, those zombies also, they, they absolutely look like zombies in your normal fiction life, but the way they talked, the way they acted, they were like confused as to why they were zombies. Like what? So yeah, there's some shit going on. Uh, I'm interested. I don't, I don't like how there were trusting people so fast though. I feel like, I guess the Straw Hats really haven't been betrayed yet. So I get why they're so nonchalant and gullible still. But I hope there is an arc where, you know, they trust someone too fast and they get burned for it. Because I, I feel like that's one of the number one rules in anime, you know, or along with don't underestimate old people because they're always strong. You don't trust for on, on a first impression. You just don't. Okay. Uh, especially guys who look like they've been stitched all over their body. What the fuck? <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't trust him. Definitely don't. But again, he could be a good guy. Doesn't seem like it, but he could be a good guy. I, there's not enough to go on. There's not enough to go on. I could just only give off with the, these creepy vibes. Like obviously at first glance, we are to assume that this Dr. Hogback guy is the evil one and Brooke is the good guy. But for all we know, that could be totally switched just because of what we, what we got first impression, right? So who knows really? Who knows really? Um, and I also think it's just smart to be skeptical all the time. So yeah, don't believe what you first hear. So anyway, that's that's that episode. Definitely curious, definitely creeped out. Not scary. I know it's a horror arc, but to be fair, some horror is just straight up jump scare scary. Some is just ambiance and you know creepy that's what i get from this one it's very weird here it's very eerie it's strange air you know what i'm saying um and i and i'm excited to hear the explanation for all of it so that's good anyway that's gonna be it for this reaction y'all if y'all enjoyed that creepy ass episode just as much as i did go ahead and like comment subscribe hit the bell for the algorithms and of course join my discord if you haven't already if y'all are not a member of the channel, members get early access to these One Piece reactions and I'm something like at least 100 episodes ahead, all right? So if you want to go ahead and become a member, you want to click that join button down below, okay? And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, which is also linked down below in the description. Um, and yeah, otherwise, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one and I will see y'all on the next episode of One Piece. All right, peace!